In part two of this screencast, you're going to be able to see how your scores matched against a teacher's scores when looking at the four student responses. Let's start with student one. This student earned a four out of 10. Unfortunately, the claim was inaccurate. The student actually said that the microscope actually makes an object bigger, but it doesn't. It just magnifies the image using both an eyepiece and an objective lens. The evidence was also inappropriate. If you reread this response, we're not sure what emoji the student was looking at or under what power. There just wasn't enough information to really support the claim. The reasoning was also inappropriate. The student just made a blanket statement that the microscope makes it easier to observe things, but they really never explained why. They didn't provide an example or draw on information about how the microscope works. Student two did a better job with the claim. They actually made the statement that the microscope magnifies an object so that you can see it in better detail. The evidence also improved. However, this student only provided one piece of evidence. They only talked about how they observed different colors in their cat emoji, but they never talked about any of the other details they may have seen. The reasoning again was just like student one just a blanket statement that the microscope helped to see details, but never elaborated further. Student three, however, did really well at a nine out of 10. The claim was accurate and complete, and enough evidence was given in enough detail. If you reread, we can tell that this student looked at a watermelon emoji, and they were able to see all of the different colors that made up the ink dots of the emoji, and they were also able to count the total number of seeds of this emoji. Both those pieces really help to convince the reader that you can see an object in better detail. However, the reasoning was still lacking. The student did not elaborate using science concepts about how the microscope might actually work to help you see that object in better detail. But student four does the best job. Student four makes an accurate and complete claim and they give enough specific evidence. In this case, the student was looking at a smiling angel emoji. They were able to see all of the different colors that made up the emoji, and they were also able to see other details that they had recorded in their science journal, like one eye was slightly smudged and that the halo on the emoji wasn't perfectly round. All of that evidence supported the student's claim, but student four did the best job on the reasoning. In the reasoning, the student actually drew on information about how the microscope works. They probably took this information from their training notes. You can see that they talk about how the microscope uses an eyepiece and objective lens to actually magnify the image. The student even included the equation so that you can see by multiplying the two lenses that the image became 40 times bigger. For this reason, the student earned a 10 out of 10. Now that you've evaluated all the student responses and you've seen their scores, you're ready to take a stab at brainstorming information for your very own microscope CER. Please type in the following link into your browser. Notice that this link has the number two at the end to signify that it's part two of this screencast. During this Google answering of this Google form, you're going to have a chance to brainstorm your claim, your evidence, and your reasoning for your microscope CER. So make sure at the end, when you submit your responses, you also ask for a copy to be emailed to yourself.